This is the game flow video for the Breakout EDU game, Blackbeard's Box. You're going to start by showing them the intro video. And then after that, you'll start the timer. On the table, you'll have the four digit code pages, their hint cards, and the map with the map questions. I usually put them in an envelope all together, but you can just lay them on the table if you'd like. Um, they'll work through the problems for the four digit code. They should get the answers 90, 900, 3, 35, 3, negative 2, 14, 8, 24, and 1. After they get those, they may or may not think to add them all together. If they don't, it'll give them a little bit of academic struggle, but it's okay because later on they'll get a, they'll find, figure out what to do. Um, for the map and the map questions, uh, the answers end up being one is S, two is T, three is R, four, I'm sorry, three is E, four is R, and five is N, spelling stern, and that is your code to the word lock, is stern. Um, after they've solved those two, they may not know what to do next, and hopefully they will see the X on the wall. If they don't, they might use a hint card and ask you, what do they do next? And in your best pirate voice, you should say, X always marks the spot. Arg. And hopefully they go to the X, and they lift it up, they scan the QR code, um, and that's hanging on the wall. The QR code is going to take them to this Google site, which will give them the code for the three digit lock once they solve the problems. Um, the first question asks them to graph a set of inequalities and then use the X coordinate of that solution set. The correct um, graph is this bottom right one and the X value is one. So the one is the first digit of the three digit code. Next, it wants them to find the coefficient or the correlation coefficient. When they do that, the answer is 0 0.90, and it wants them to use the digit in the hundredths place, so that's zero. And then the last question wants them to graph the inequality and then use the X of the point that is in the solution set. This point right here is in the solution set. The X value is three. So the three digit code is one zero three and it unlocks the small box. Oh no, I relocked it. Um, inside the small box is the UV light and the riddle. And the riddle is what is harmless yet kills thee and what can fly yet has no wings. Hopefully they will solve that riddle and think of time and go over to the clock in the room and find the key that's taped to the clock that unlocks the key lock. Um, this is that riddle. Uh, and then they get the UV light. If they look over things with the UV light, one of these pages, you should have written the sentence, now that ye have the answers, sum up the knowledge. And so they have to go back and add all of the boxes together. And when they add all of the pages answers together, they will get the code 1076, which will unlock the four digit lock that's on the big box. And that just leaves them the directional lock. And for the directional lock, they have to use the helm that is taped to the bottom of the large breakout EDU box and not only do they have to find the helm on the bottom of the box but then they have to use the UV light and see that there are numbers on the handles so your first direction because the starboard is marked with the one is to the right because that's starboard starboard 
Um, a two is on the bow, so it's up. Three is port, so it's left. Four is stern, so down. And then five is bow again, so it's up. So the directional lock is right, up, left, down, up. And then they've broken out.